Hello, I'm Redstone Charger, and I'm back in Minecraft for with another tutorial showing you how to create directional particles. These particles will move in the specific direction that you specified, like that. Before we actually get started though, I'd love to see you subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also comment below what your favorite particle is. Okay, let's get started. The particle command is pretty simple. Slash particle, the particle name, in this case, flame, the coordinate in which you want to do it, this one is right above the command block here, your spread, which I will demonstrate in a moment, your speed, so the, ran the speed in a random direction, one is actually a large, very large number to use, and the number of particles you want to display. This is then the display mode, normal or force. Force normal will be what you see most particles as. You can only view them from 16 blocks away, and then they'll disappear. No force, on the other hand, you can see them from 256 blocks away, really far and the final one is what players can view the particle so if we run this quick you can see there's just a single flame above it that's also what this is hi pig if we put some spread on it let's just say one block in all directions this is x y and z pretty much and now it will spread spread all around if i just turn this off it will just spread across so it will be all on the same exact level if I turn this off it will only be in this straight line right in this direction you can do it the other way really simple now if you want to create directional particles you might think it has something to do with the speed because it does because it would you have to make them go in some direction this will make it go in a random direction this is 0 0.1 you can see it's actually quite fast if I put it all the way up to 1 it gets extremely fast and that's not really what you want so in order to create the directional particles you want to use this well not this command I just altered the other command a little bit first of all you set your count to 0 that changes the way the spread works. You can no longer spread your particles. They can now be set to go in a certain direction. This is X motion, this is Y motion, and this is Z motion. So if I set it to just 0 0.5 on the Z motion, and then I turn it on, it will go in this direction. Also, one is a little bit better to have on this one, since you can change it since if you change this to go 5, you can make it just go really fast anyway. Then you can set it to 0 0.1, like so. You can also make it go up. You can make it go in this direction. So this will change the direction up into this place. And the, part of, the command is just really simple. You set your count to 0, and then you change the spread for the direction. This can be used to create some really cool things, such as this particle I created with these command blocks here. Yes, it looks amazing. I also created this oil pipe, so the oil comes spilling out and it splashes on the ground. The splash is a con separate command block. The it This is really the only directional thing that uses the random direction for the splash. It just uses a single stream of, of squid ink that, and then squid ink automatically falls, so that's helpful if you want to make that. I'm also going to turn this off quick. It can only, this, this direction can only be used on particles that can be moved in a random direction anyway, such as the flame, smoke, squid ink, cloud. Those things can be moved. If you try putting a speed on one of these ones here, it doesn't work. Instead, if you set the count to zero on entity effect, it will turn it into the red, green, and blue. 
instead of direction, which you can see here. I changed these right here, and it just changes what the colors are. With dust, though, since I forget which snapshot it was, they changed the way dust worked. I covered that in another video. It uses red, green, and blue, and size right after dust, so you can still use spread as seen here. Really cool. The final one is the falling dust. Now, you might think this also uses the same principle as the entity effect, but it doesn't since you can spread it, which is really helpful. This actually uses a block tag after the falling dust particle name, and that specifies what color this will be. So, emerald block, green, diamond block, blue, redstone block, red, gold block, gold, and purple stained glass for this purple. You could probably use a purple... Per... Per... Pillar... Let's see if that works. Yeah, that actually gives you a better... You can also just use block if you want. If don't think it affects the color at all. No, it does not. So all purple stuff would be, be the exact same particle. All ores are actually the same particle. It's just gray, like stone. So I think anything that it has stone in it will be stone. So that's, that's really... Let me just set this spread to nothing. There we go. So now we have those. And that's really all that is with this you can you may be able to change the color on some other of the particles i haven't really tested it out with too many particles but it's really helpful especially if you're trying to make adventure maps it's you can point in a certain direction and it's just really helpful so that's the end of this video hope it helped a lot because it did me when i discovered it probably could have looked it up other people have youtube videos on it i found it out myself anyway don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and like i said comment down below what your favorite particle is anyway goodbye